so this theme from the Hungarian Rhapsody number two, it's famous because it's by Liszt, mm -hmm. right, for one thing, and it's very showy, right, yes. very showy, and it's from a folk song, right, that Liszt probably heard when he was in Hungary, right, mm -hmm. and tell me about the characteristic of this folk song, is this a lyrical sad one, or if you were to explain it. No, it's very happy and bouncy. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Okay, so let's go ahead and play it. What is the key that you're in? It is in G minor. Um, is your last chord and your last note in the measure, in the last measure, is that G minor? No. No. It's D. So what's the name D. of the last note? What's the name of the last note? So it's in B flat. B flat. Major. Major! Perfect. Good. Very good. All right, whenever you're ready. did you like about your playing of this piece? Mm -hmm. I liked how it was mostly light. It was very nice and light. Good articulations, right? All the staccato. Good. So let's do a couple little things at the very end. Let's put some pedaling. Okay. Right, what does the pedaling do for the ending? Makes it louder. It does. And then with the pedaling, what do you notice? What am I doing with my wrist and my forearms? We're moving in towards the Right. Do you remember what that's called? In touch releases? What's that called? Push off, kick push off, off, tissue bond? <laughs> What's it called? It's called a push off. A push off. Go. Good. Let's try that. Good. So feel like this wrist and this part of your arm moves. There. You feel that? This moves forward. There you go. There you go. Good. Very good. Now, can you make the motion a little bit quicker? Sure. Very nice. Do it a couple times. Good. Good. Let's take it a little further back so you get into it. Wherever you want to take it from. Yeah, wherever you want to take it from. times you get really comfortable with it. Wow, good. It's already better, isn't it? Good. Let's do it twice more. Good for you. Wow. So much better. Good. One more time. On a scale of one to five, with five being the most comfortable, where are you on that three. scale? A three. Okay, so let's do it three more times. It's already getting so much more comfortable. Good. So on a scale from one to five, where are you now? Like a four? You're a four. Okay, let's do it three more times. <laughs> The power of repetition <laughs> while you listen, that's good.
love your push-offs. They look really good and it sounds really good too, right? Now, let's do it twice in slow motion. So okay. exaggerate all of your motions, right? Da, ba, ba, ba. So everything's slow motion. And then we're going to do it up to tempo. Okay. So twice at that slow motion exaggeration. Double forte at the end. There you go. One more time. Good. Are you up getting up there? Like four and a half? Four yeah. and three. Okay, so if you do that more tonight, right, then you're going to be really comfortable for tomorrow. All right, now the next thing I want to talk to you about are these. I used to have a record player when I was young, and it went closer, my dear, come closer. <laughs> Those are the words to it. <laughs> so when you go one, two, can you give, can you give it a full beat? So it's another push off, right? This time it's not a quick push off, but I hold it for that full value. Do you want to try that? Closer, closer. Mm -hmm. and here, can you feel like you are a little bit just more, more supported with your arm? All right, good. First one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> from the top, let's do C minor there. This is also one, three, one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that is much it's easier. It's much more comfortable. <laughs> yes. Good. All right, let's try the whole thing. Hands together. <laughs> Markings there. What does tenuto mean? It means held out for its entire life. Yes. Do you want to circle it? Because that gives you the idea of, oh, okay, I got to plan that next part, right? I'm planning the next part. I'm going to give that an extra, extra little bit length of time, okay? Good. Wherever you want to take it from. It's fine with me.